What's going on, everybody? This is Chris Germond, a.k.a. The Real Binary Master, a.k.a. I'm going to let you guys know that that setup on UJ was almost absolutely perfect, but it did not hit take profit. However, if you're connected to me, you knew to secure the bag and and take the 1 to 3 risk reward, the, the, the 3x that we were up running on profit. And here's why, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, as traders, we can only anticipate what is going to happen and the probabilities of what could happen or where it could go from that direction, blah, 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 and so forth. Ladies and gentlemen, last night we said that the possibility, there was a possibility that price would do something like this. ladies and gentlemen and we said that if price were to break this resistance area we would want to see price pull up come back retest and then hold this support so before we get to that potential trade I want to talk about the trade that we were in the trade that I called out and we were analyzing last night now we had a lot of confirmations that suggested price was going to push down to this support area now moving that removing that I want to show you guys something within this price action here okay within this 15 minute price action when we go to the five minute check it out We had price come into the 50% imbalance fill of this candle and start rejecting. It didn't just reject once. It rejected a series of five candles in a row. One, two, three, four, five. In fact, one could make the argument that it rejected one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles before a little pull back down and then continuing up. Now, when we start seeing wick rejections at an area of potential interest where price is failing to create the low that we're that we're waiting on to happen two things can happen we can one close a trade at that point especially if trade is close to our take profit area which you can see clearly here uh you know we were going for 28 pips roughly i think it was 28 pips and price was up 27.3 so at that point, ladies and gentlemen, it's on us to close out the trade because it's a winning trade, okay? But say you didn't tr close it out 100% profit, but you're already, already 3 to 1 risk to reward and profit. You're going to move down and put your stop profit in a, an area where, you know, if price comes back, you're not going to want to be in anyway. So you could put your stop profit here, potentially, and you got stopped out and you made 10 pips. Awesome. It's a winning trade, but... The most important thing is, is we're always anticipating the potential next move, ladies and gentlemen. So if our bearish scenario did not play out and we did not create the lower low that we had anticipated could potentially happen in a series of equal highs and lower lows, that did not happen. But what did happen was one of our scenarios that we thought could potentially play out. And that scenario was the inverse head and shoulders on the 15 minute time frame that we were waiting for. And we just needed, we just needed confirmation of price direction. And we got that, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look. Left shoulder. Head. Right shoulder. And what happens here? What happens here? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We had a nice break above, break above this inverse head and shoulders. Now, for those of you that don't know how to trade inverse head and shoulders or head and shoulders, all you're doing is taking the top of the head to the body as your breakout, 
and put it to the breakout area and that's where you get your target potential target okay so price could potentially push up to here now when we look at this we say okay our anticipation is price could push up all the way over to here we can clearly see that we have a nice area of resistance within this range and we don't force things so we just go with the flow the flow of the market has been this area has been acting as resistance so once we had the retest here and then we see some type of confirmation on the five minute maybe a bullish engulfing or a rejection candle like so here boom five minute time frame we have a rejection a rejection followed by the engulfing candle you can wait for a pullback after you see the engulfing candle and then get in so engulfing we had the pullback now we're in and ladies and gentlemen oops ladies and gentlemen you can see that this was a magnificent magnificent entry so worst case scenario on this entry here you made 10 pips only or one third of the potential risk that you were or one uh, you you uh, profited equal risk one to one because if you are risking you know 1% and you're going for 3% pro potential profit if you put your stop profit at a third of the risk or a third of the re reward in this instance you're um, you know you're getting stopped out plus one percent which is nothing wrong with that ladies and gentlemen it's absolutely incredible you profit on this trade off of this setup here this potential setup here but because this setup didn't do exactly what you had anticipated it failed to create that low but it did break this consolidation zone we knew what was coming so we waited for the retest we got the engulfing candle we entered the trade ladies and gentlemen and the rest is history The rest is history. We enter, and as you can see, a smooth sell and clean 50 to 55 pips to the upside. These are the potential moves that could happen all the time during the market, and we have to be always willing to adapt, adjust, and ready for the next move, okay? So as traders, we anticipate potential movements. As that movement happens or doesn't occur, we can adjust our analysis at that time, which is exactly what we did here. We noticed that price was rejecting a 50% imbalance area on the sell <coughs> and was fouling to create a lower low. We closed the trade after 20 minutes of consolidating at that area without fouling to break or whatever it was. Or you moved into a stop profit of 10 plus pips. Either way, it's a win. But the most important part is recognizing the scenarios that you had potentially drawn up before you entered the cell. And you said, and we made it clear last night on that video, that if price were to break this inverse head and shoulders area, we would want to see a pullback. And at that point, we could get in for buys ladies and gentlemen and that's exactly what has happened here okay that's exactly what has happened here this is a beautiful entry and a winning trade with that said guys i hope you found some value in it and i hope you understand that just because your analysis momentarily could be in one directional one directional bias so we were looking for sales so we were but we were open-minded to the fact that if price didn't do what we were anticipating with the sell in the market that we would adjust and get ready for the buy that could present itself immediately after and therefore we actually were able to mandangle this market on usdjpy we were able to absolutely crush the setup because we followed our trading plan from the start okay the plan was to take the sell down if we did create the lower low and broke started breaking through this right shoulder it would go down and create a new low and that could potentially be our tp2 it did not happen price came near tp1 started rejecting and that's where we would have took the bag price closed or you could have moved in a stop profit came up stopped us out winning trade we're done and then we're waiting and we're waiting to see what happens next well about an hour Later, we see price 
pull back and then finally blasted through this inverse head and shoulders area that we have marked up and have as an area of interest but that wasn't our sign to get in no we wanted to see how price would react once it broke this area as we can see price reacted sustained above it came back and retested beautifully and at that point is when we no started noticing the rejection candles on the lower time frames and then we had the engulfing bullish engulfing candle right here which was our confirmation to get in the buy so with that said guys i appreciate you all hope you found some value within this um explanation of why i took the sell yesterday in usdjpy but also the um though being aware of the possibility that price could go the opposite direction and we were able to completely smack this market by taking the sell down and then taking the buy back up appreciate you all see you guys on the next one look forward to dropping more information and educational videos to you guys in the in the in the very near future stay tuned bye for now